What if your office could be anywhere in the world? What would that mean for your lifestyle, your savings, and your freedom? Imagine for a moment the possibilities. Swapping your daily commute for a morning stroll on a tropical beach. Trading the gray city skyline for the vibrant colors of a Moroccan market. This is not a pipe dream but a rising trend in the way we work, known as the digital nomad lifestyle. In the last decade the rise of remote work has skyrocketed. More and more people are freeing themselves from the confines of the traditional office. No longer tied to a specific location, they are setting up their workstations in places that inspire them, invigorate them, and yes, even places that help them save money. You see another key aspect of this lifestyle is the concept of geo-arbitrage. This may sound complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. It's about leveraging the differences in costs between countries. For instance, the cost of living in a city like New York or London is quite high, but in places like Bali or Chiang Mai, your dollar will stretch much further. Imagine being able to maintain a high standard of living while also significantly reducing your expenses. You could work less, save more, or even invest in experiences that enrich your life. This is the power of geo-arbitrage. But it's not only about the money, it's about the freedom and flexibility this lifestyle offers. You gain control over your schedule, your environment, and ultimately, your life. You can choose to work during your most productive hours, take breaks when you need them, and immerse yourself in new cultures, all while earning a living. So picture yourself sipping a cappuccino in a quaint cafe in Prague while finalizing a project. Or imagine ending your workday with a sunset swim in the crystal clear waters of Bali. As we move towards this future, your office could be a beach in Bali, a cafe in Prague, or your living room. The world is your oyster. Ever wondered why your dollar seems to stretch further in some countries than others? Well, the answer lies in a concept called Purchasing Power Parity, or PPP for short. It's a tool economists use to compare the buying power of different currencies. It's based on the idea that a dollar should buy the same amount in all countries. Now, we all know that's not really the case, right? In reality the value of a dollar can vary widely from one place to another. That's why you might feel like a millionaire in one country and a pauper in another, all while spending the same amount of US dollars. So, let's talk about why that happens. A big part of it is the strength of the US dollar on the global market. The dollar is a powerhouse, considered one of the world's major reserve currencies. This means that many countries hold it in their foreign exchange reserves and use it for international transactions. This demand for the dollar helps to keep its value high, but there's more to it than just the strength of the dollar. The cost of goods and services in a country also plays a big role. Think about it this way. If a country's currency is weak compared to the dollar and the cost of living is low, your dollar can buy a lot more there than it could back home. For instance, a cup of coffee might cost you $5 in New York, but in a city like Hanoi, Vietnam, you could get it for less than a dollar. That's your dollar stretching further, giving you more bang for your buck. This difference in purchasing power can be a huge advantage for people who work remotely and have the flexibility to live anywhere. If you're earning in dollars but spending in a currency that's weaker than the dollar, you're essentially getting a discount on everything you buy. So, while you're working remotely, why not make your dollar work harder for you? How much would it cost you to live comfortably in Thailand compared to San Francisco? That's a question more and more people are asking themselves as remote work becomes the norm. Let's start with rent. In San Francisco, one of the most expensive cities in the United States, you could easily pay upwards of $3,000 a month for a one-bedroom apartment. Now let's hop over to Thailand. In a city like Chiang Mai, a popular destination for digital nomads, that same one-bedroom apartment might cost you about $300. That's a tenth of the price. But it's not just about rent. The cost of food, another daily necessity, also varies greatly. In San Francisco, you might spend $15 for a simple meal. But in Thailand, a delicious fresh meal from a local market could cost you a mere $1 to $2. And then there's transportation. In the US, owning a car is often a necessity, and that comes with costs for insurance, maintenance, and gas. In many non-Western countries, public transportation is not only more prevalent, but it's also significantly cheaper. You might spend a few dollars for a taxi ride in Thailand, compared to the $20 or $30 you could spend for an Uber in San Francisco. Sure there are other factors to consider like healthcare, entertainment, and lifestyle preferences, 
But the point is, when you crunch the numbers, the cost of living in non-Western countries can be significantly less than in Western ones. And remember, if your job is location independent, your income stays the same regardless of where you choose to live. That means not only can you afford a comfortable lifestyle in these less expensive countries, but you could potentially save more of your income too. So, when you think about it, the question isn't really, how much would it cost you to live comfortably in Thailand compared to San Francisco? It's why wouldn't you want to live comfortably in Thailand instead of San Francisco? When your office is just a laptop, you have the freedom to choose a lower cost of living without sacrificing your income. Can you imagine immersing yourself in a different culture every few months while maintaining your job? Picture this. You're sitting in a quaint cafe in the heart of Paris, sipping on a fresh cup of café au lait as you draft your latest project report. Or perhaps you're lounging on a hammock in Bali, the sound of the ocean waves gently lapping against the shore as you join a conference call. This isn't a vacation, it's your everyday life, made possible by the freedom of remote work. Exploring the world isn't just about seeing new places, it's about experiencing different cultures, tasting exotic cuisines, and meeting people from all walks of life. It's about broadening your perspective and understanding how different, yet similar, we all are. When you travel internationally, you open yourself up to a whole new world of experiences. You learn to navigate unfamiliar cities, communicate in foreign languages, and adapt to different social norms. This not only enriches your personal life but also enhances your professional skills, such as problem-solving, adaptability, and communication. Moreover, this lifestyle offers ample networking opportunities. Imagine attending a business conference in Tokyo, a startup meetup in Berlin, or a design workshop in Barcelona. You get to connect with professionals from around the world, share ideas, and forge relationships that could open doors to exciting opportunities. Now you might be thinking, sounds great, but isn't it expensive? Well, not necessarily. As we've discussed earlier, the power of the US dollar in many non-Western countries, coupled with a lower cost of living can make this lifestyle quite affordable. And with remote work, you can earn while you travel, making it a sustainable choice. So why not swap the monotony of the 9 to 5 for the allure of international travel? With remote work, you can have your café au lait in Paris and drink it too. Travel broadens the mind and remote work makes it possible without breaking the bank. So what does this all mean for you as a potential digital nomad or remote worker? We've traversed through a world of possibilities where your office can be anywhere, from a coffee shop in Buenos Aires to a beach in Bali. This is the future of work, remote jobs that offer flexibility and freedom that a traditional 9 to 5 job may not provide. The digital revolution has made it possible for us to work from anywhere in the world, breaking the chains of geographic limitation. Next, let's remind ourselves of the power of the US dollar abroad. It's like having a magic carpet in your wallet, allowing you to stretch your earnings further than you ever thought possible. This can be particularly beneficial in non-Western countries where the cost of living is significantly lower. Your dollar can buy you more in these parts of the world, from everyday essentials to luxury experiences. And speaking of non-Western countries, we've explored the vast differences in the cost of living around the globe. The price tags on housing, groceries, transportation, and entertainment can be dramatically lower, allowing your income to go even further. This lower cost of living can be a game changer, enabling you to live a high-quality lifestyle on a modest budget. Finally, we've touched on the allure of international travel. Being a digital nomad or remote worker is not just about the work, it's also about the adventure. The world is your oyster, filled with rich cultures, stunning landscapes, and unforgettable experiences. Traveling internationally provides an opportunity to grow personally and professionally, to learn from diverse cultures and to create a lifestyle that is uniquely yours. So, by combining the flexibility of remote work, the power of the US dollar abroad, the lower cost of living in non-Western countries, and the excitement of international travel, you can create a lifestyle of freedom and flexibility that is tailored to you. The future of work is here and it's giving us the chance to redefine what a normal lifestyle looks like. Are you ready to seize it? If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.